like speed? Yes. Do you like excitement? Yes. Do you like slow cooked meats? <laughs> <laughs> Well, even if you don't like any of that stuff, you're still in for a wild ride. Let's take a look at my Formula One weekend. Mm. Here we are in beautiful, sunny Austin, Texas at the Circuit of the Americas for the U.S. Grand Prix. <laughs> I got a pass with my face on it. Look at that. Let's go. There's Checo Perez. Checo, Marcos Cuelos. I'm Mexican. My dad's a big supporter of yours from Mexico City. We love that we have a Mexican driver in the series. Next week, Mexico City. Yeah. Really exciting. Is that your favorite race? Yeah, it is, you know, because of all the support I have there at home. Uh, with all my fans, it's a massive one for me. What's happening right here? What are, what's going on? They're just making up the car. A little adjustments. Yeah. They're going to take me around in a hot lap. Any advice? Just sit back and enjoy it. Sit back and enjoy it. I had a big breakfast. Is that a, is that uh, a problem? Maybe. <laughs> maybe for the driver, not for you. Keep it going, brother. Thank you so much. Awesome. Such a nice guy. We're the same height. I could fit in that car. I'm going to make my pit stop now. I'm gonna do a hot lap. What's a hot lap? I'm gonna take one of those fast cars, but I'm gonna be driven around Formula One track as fast as I can go. Let's go. I'm signing a waiver. <laughs> this is important, right? Yes, it's quite important. That bet that suits you. Yeah. Are you excited for your Pirelli hot lap? We're starting in 10th place. I don't like that. I'm gonna catch up. If I don't ever see you again, it was a pleasure meeting you. Good luck to yeah, you. Yeah, man. Fastest SUV on the planet. All right, thank you. Hi there. Hello, you are? Yeah, how are you doing? Good, thank you. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Strap up and let's go. Ready? Yep. Amazing. Oh my god. Uh, how was I as a passenger? Did I scream? I Did you I... were quite a good passenger actually. You're enthusiastic. Didn't put me off too much. <laughs> Didn't scream too much, but you still let me know you were enjoying yourself. Now, first female driver in the past five years to test a car for Formula One. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. That's so exciting. Which car? Aston Martin? Yeah, Aston Martin. How was it getting an F1 car? What can I say? It was amazing. Everything that I ever dreamt it to be, you know, and more. And I adapted really quick to it. I, I felt so at home in it. I was very happy with my performance. Yeah. So it went well by all accounts. Well, I'll keep an eye out for you. I, I know it's it's blowing up for you right now, but it, that, it was such an honor to be riding in the car with you. Thank you very You're an amazing, much. amazing pilot. That Thank was you so much. awesome. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you. She said I didn't scream or cry or anything I like that. Like, I mean, noisy. <laughs> Every team here in the paddock ships around eight elephants weight worth of equipment around to every single race. Okay. The other one is over the course of the season, if you add all the races together, there are 1,425 racing laps in the season. Go. The one that's true is 1,445 laps. Incorrect. Oh, it's 1,325 laps in the season, and every single one of these teams has roughly eight elephants <laughs> worth of equipment. Okay, so I thought that was too little. It I was, thought it'd be like 20 elephants. So yeah, I think the cars are pretty small and light. And light, and because they're traveling all over the place, they're yeah. forced to really pack it down. We owe him a mug, and you get a T-shirt. <laughs> Now, F1 makes you really, really hungry, and if you're as hungry as I am, you gotta get yourself to the Salt Lake. And here is my friend, the owner and operator, Scott Roberts. Hey, Good Scott. to have you here. Thank you so much. About seven years ago, I sat in that same table that you put me yeah. back there. I haven't stopped thinking about it ever since. Ah, uh, it's wonderful. The ends, I had the ends. Burn in. Oh yeah. my gosh. You want another one? I'll love a little piece. Go 
hope that wasn't too hot. How long would that slab of ribs stay on there? Two hours to cook a rib. Okay. Two different schools of thought on ribs. Fast cook and slow cook. We're fast cook. And that's brisket back there? Those are briskets back there. Now we're slow cook on the briskets. Well, if you're in Austin, worth the drive, Salt Lake. Run, run, don't walk. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're backstage. This is very exciting. <laughs> I've waited all my life to get this kind of access. He wins the U.S. Grand Prix. What a race. What a town. What a weekend. Thank you for coming on my F1 weekend with me. That was exciting. That was uh, so exciting. Shout out to everybody at ESPN for hosting me. Thank you so much. And that was great. And Seth Gronquist. Yes, that was Seth. an incredible piece. Yes, Seth. Thank you. Seth and Byrne. Yeah. Yes.